What's going on guys? Aaron here with NAP Transport. Uh, wanted to give you guys a quick overview of, uh, I, I said that I've been here with Prime for, for a month now, and I wanted to go through and kind of go through how my first month went. I guess my first month leasing with Prime. It was a learning experience for me, for sure. I uh, I had I had some things not really go my way, but I still came out pretty well. Now I forgot to write down my exact miles, but for May they said I went seven thousand four hundred and forty-six miles. This is, by the way, as of the statement for that came out on the 28th of May. So, obviously there's another week in May, but that'll be paid out tomorrow, which is in June. So, I'm kind of counting that. Um, So they said I went 7,446 miles. I think I was a little bit closer to 8,000 maybe. Um, because they use short miles here when they dispatch and that kind of stuff. My revenue for that was $14,313.47. Which comes out to a $1.92 a mile gross to the truck. So, uh, I would say probably closer to $1.75 with actual miles, but still not bad. Uh, I still think that's better than I, or I, I know that's better than what I would have gotten going with a company such as, you know, CR England or Swift or Knight or Stevens or, you know, any of the other ones that do mileage because they only pay like a dollar, like 99 cents to a dollar 15 a mile. So this dollar 75 for actual miles, and most of them pay on short miles too. So if I'm going off of the same metric there, a dollar 92 for all miles, not bad at all. So I really, you know, I'm really happy with that. Now this was my first month, so I had less taken out because they defer your first week truck payment. Um, that kind of stuff. So, out of that $14,313.47, I spent $3,413 in fuel and fuel tax. So, and that's, that's after discounts. So, I mean, not bad there. Let's go down here a little bit. What is that? So through, <clears throat> through my lease payments and stuff like that, uh, after all of that's deducted, as far as my fixed costs, um, which it looks like is somewhere around $1,200 a week, but that includes my my vehicle lease, it includes my license and permits and statement preparation, the, yeah, the insurance, the, the highway use tax, that kind of stuff. Uh, after all of that, my total to the bank for four weeks was six thousand one hundred sixty-five dollars and thirty-five cents. So with that, that's a little bit under fifty percent of what I made. I took home. I don't. I mean, I had truck washes in there, uh, excess mileage charge for the weeks that I ran more than twenty-five hundred miles, and I can kind of get into that later. Um, So that 
$6,165.35 is 82.8 cents per mile. But the way that they do this is they take out two extra cents per mile to cover IFTA and or to cover whatever IFTA overage and they give you the refund of it at the end when it's needed. And so for that I've had where is it? I've had $158.04 taken out of that. So, yeah, that's two cents per mile that they take out of that. There's a tire fund of two and a half cents, which uh, I've had $186.14 for that. And the five and a half cent per mile maintenance, $409.54. So, with that, I'm looking at somewhere close to seven to eight hundred dollars of money that is actually mine and will come to me at the end of the lease added on to that 6165 so roughly seven thousand dollars is what is my money from that so somewhere near 50 cents or 50 percent which I mean comes out to like 90 something cents a mile now I'm gonna lowball that because of actual miles and say that I actually took home somewhere ballpark 75 cents a mile and that's take home to me so people ask why don't you be a company driver well that's gross that's before my taxes my insurance that kind of stuff my my health insurance that kind of stuff so that's six thousand one hundred sixty five dollars and thirty five cents or 75 cents a mile roughly is higher than I'd make as a company driver gross. You know, if I was making 50 cents a mile on, now I, that this is just rough. I don't know how prime company pays. That's, that's not something that I know too much about. I'm just going off 50 cents kind of industry average. 7,446 miles would be about $3,700 gross but my gross was $6,165 to me. Um, now granted that is to my business and I will have other expenses, but maintenance is covered. Tires are covered, fuel tax is covered. So basically my biggest expenses that I might have to come up with out of pocket outside of taxes is pretty much covered. So overall, I really can't complain. The the fact that I did over fourteen thousand dollars in four weeks, you know, and I had five days at home during that four weeks, so there was, you know, almost a week there that isn't counted. Um, but I mean, overall, I I really can't. I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, $14,000 comes out to what? $3,500 a week, and that includes the five days I was home. So, I mean, that's, that's wonderful. Not to mention there that I did take a short-term lease. One, they said it was all they had on the lot, but that's really all I wanted to do to see if I would like it. So I found a truck that had three months left on the lease, and and that's that's the truck I got into. So this lease is up in July. Now, with that being said, assets for the truck carried over with the truck. So that there was six thousand five hundred twelve dollars and sixty five cents in the maintenance account that got transferred over to this truck. Okay, sorry. $5,031.95 of maintenance and $1,480.70 for tires. Bringing the total to $6,512.65. So, I'm not 100% sure how end of lease works because I know usually you get all of the money at the end of the 
lease. But given that it wasn't my lease, I don't know. I don't know how all that works. I don't know if that money just goes to Prime or, you know, if it comes to me after whatever they take out to, to fix whatever's needed on the truck when the lease is up. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's May. That's, that's how, uh, that's how May went. And I'm hoping that June is better. Um, I had a, I had a really bad load there the last week of May. Uh, it paid something like $800 in four days or something. Terrible, terrible load. It was, that was just a terrible week all around. I ended up with two repowers. I'll kind of go into my learning experiences for my first month in another video, but this is more about the May, the May, uh, profit. So, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Click the subscribe button, the like button, I don't know, whatever the YouTubers are supposed to say these days. Um, just know that I appreciate every one of you guys being here and watching this, and I do want to let you know, these results are not necessarily going to be yours. These are mine because of the way I run my truck. Other people may run their truck differently. They may have more gross but a lower percentage of take home. They may have, you know, a higher percentage of take home on the same gross or lower gross. You know, everybody runs differently here. So to say that my numbers are indicative of what a solo lease driver would make here would be would be incorrect. I'm not I, I might be a typical driver. I don't know. I don't ask people about their pay. I don't ask people how much they made. I don't ask any of that kind of stuff. There's plenty of videos on YouTube with people who freely offer that information. I can tell you that my numbers are mine and that I'm happy with them. I'm happy with the, what, $1,500 a week average, including my home time. Again, who knows? The numbers may be, may be different, may not even work for you. Depends on your lifestyle. I have a pretty minimal lifestyle. I don't buy clothes unless I need to. I mean, I had a habit of eating out, but I'm starting to eat more on the truck. So I'm, I'm pretty minimal on my lifestyle. And so these numbers work for me. And there might be some of you guys out there that will bash them and say you make more than that as a company driver or you make more than that 